I'm at Inspiration Point here at the Presidio in San Francisco, but I didn't need much inspiration to do a video with how crazy this morning has been and how wild the New York Jets are. They not only fired Robert Sala five games into the regular season, I'm not sure why you'd even retain him past the offseason if he was on such thin ice, but according to multiple reports, they had security walk him out of the Jets building. Why? I have no idea, and I really can't think of a good reason as to why Woody Johnson would do that. But it's no secret that the Jets are a poorly managed team, and now Robert Sala is a free agent. But Mike Silver reported that Robert Sala is going to take a vacation with his family, and he has no intention of joining a team this year. I mentioned this during the first show this morning. There's typically offset language in these contracts, and Sala's going to be paid through 2026, guaranteed money by the Jets. He's not financially incentivized to take a job elsewhere. So it's virtually impossible if there is such offset language in this deal for the 49ers to offer Sala the type of money that would change any equation for him since he's already being paid something like $5 million annually anyway by the New York Jets. Still... Uh, it's crazy. Obviously, the 49ers have some connections in that Jets building that go beyond Robert Sala. Got a text from one of them and said, shit's crazy here. Yeah, we can tell. It is crazy here. How does this fix the Jets offense? Answer, it doesn't. Robert Sala, obviously a defensive head coach. Jeff Ulbrich has the defense running uh, very smoothly again for the Jets. He's the actual DC, but Robert Sala was, was the guy above him that obviously uh, hired Ulbrich into the mix. The 49ers were interested in bringing Ulbrich along as their defensive coordinator this offseason, but the Jets weren't interested in letting Ulbrich out of his contract for obvious reasons. Anyway, the former 49ers linebacker Ulbrich is now the interim coach of the Jets, and Sala uh, very likely is not going to be coming to San Francisco in 2024. Now, for the 2025 season, all bets are off. Sala's going to be back out on the job market then after he takes a break, a step away, the vacation with his family. And we'll see how this 49ers situation evolves. As you know, I wrote up on the San Francisco Standard uh, that the 49ers splits right now, as they're struggling, defensively are much better than in 2021, further into the season. 2021, when they're three and five, it was the number 27 pass defense and the number 23 overall defense. The 49ers right now are number 12 overall defensively. So, uh, you know, obviously there's talk about the adjustments against the zone read that, that Nick Bosa discussed after the game. Obviously Nick Sorensen's growing on the job, but uh, when people are calling for D'Amico Ryan's head in 2021, the 49ers defense was performing much more poorly than it is now. So you've, you've got to give stuff some time to develop. New coordinators are going to need to grow on the job as D'Amico Ryan's did in 2021. And, you know, I will add that the very same 49ers fans – who uh, said that they want Robert Sala fired in 2018, which was a preposterously irrational take. They didn't have nearly enough defensive talent there for, for a full evaluation in 2018. The very same people that wanted him fired back then uh, are the ones screaming, hire Robert Sala now, even though that appears uh, very unrealistic. Breakfast burrito of the day here in San Francisco, Velo Rouge Cafe, which means the Red Bike Cafe in French. Here you go.